Thank you so much for watching Tomochita Music. Today's topic about playing level. A lot of people are curious about am I beginner, intermediate, advanced, pro? So many ways to do it. What is your goal? What is your level? How do you know your playing level? So let's discuss here my idea of what is your level and especially like three levels of your playing, my playing, guitar playing. So let me introduce like a three levels, like in a basic one, beginner, we call beginner. Beginners is somebody who never touched the guitar yet or somebody who has been playing three months to one year maybe. Intermediate, next one, we always call, you know, and um, <laughs> this one I don't really know. I always say like, you know, playing more than one year to two years, maybe two, three years, maybe. Other bands, it's pretty good knowledge about the guitar and knowing the song and comfortable to jam with the people. So, you know, so many different facts there, then that's other bands. You know, so I'm going to get into a little bit more detail about those, how you determine these, okay? And then also how you think about levels. Are you ready? Okay. So I just speak, you know, spoke, you know, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, like three levels, right? Once again, beginner, what do you think? Somebody who just started playing guitar six months, maybe within one year, that's a, you know, beginner. Intermediate, it's a little bit more like knowing a few tunes, maybe play one year to two years, and just start reaching more difficult uh, task tunes. Advanced, I would say more than two years to four years or more, you know, knowing so many, um, not only the style, but you know, skills, skill level. So now you can help me your idea of these levels. It's really hard to explain or understand, you know, but you don't want to get to too much, too much, because then you decide, all right, I'm, you know, advanced. But what if you, you think too much advanced, then if you don't know the uh, nice, important foundation that's not great either okay so i think first you have to think simple way to think and then maybe categorize what area that you have to really focus on you know so i get into a little bit more detail later right in the very end i will show you example between beginner intermediate advanced just you know basic idea on blues playing maybe some chord melody, maybe on the jazz blues, and uh, happy chords. Like happy chords, that's sort of advanced because I'm playing, you know, a lot of uh, chords, you know, so, but you, you can make that into intermediate version, the beginner version, you see? You have to see, that's how you think difficult version, you can just tackle down from the top. For example, one of my students, who's really good at it, transcribing, and Pope Metheny, and he transcribed a lot about uh, Matthias Asato style, and he plays detail. Then I ask, what these come from? Sometimes he has to think a little bit. Oh, because he's already playing advanced level of a playing. Everything mix, because chords, chord melody, harmony, Feels everything mixed. So once you learn that, you can play note for note. But if you don't understand deeply enough, so that that technique and concept won't work on the different songs. So that means you just copied, mimic them. But that's all you get. That's what a lot of YouTube, Instagram guitar players syndrome copy somebody slow down copy note for note took many hours to do great 
play that with the backing track sounds great, but that's all you get. I want to get a little bit more than that, right? So think about a technique. To me, technique, fingering, fretboard, like, you know, chromatic scale, for example. You have to do really slowly and you have to keep fingers down. Then sustain and go to next one instead of sliding. Like that, okay? So you have to do like that, you know, instead of sliding, you know, I have many lessons like that. And then what string do you see? Very specific. I use only four and a third of strings because this way you hold the neck, you know, um, nice way. Then if you do six strings, the first string, then you have to learn angle. So you do up and down the neck. Now next one, picking kind of flat to the string and you have to work on muting, palm muting, left hand muting. And so picking, I was a fingering and picking, I think that's the first thing that comes to my mind, a the technique. Then maybe try out a technique, understand, that's a little bit going to theory. Next one, theory. Understand what these things. So like a theory, you can play C major triad, do mi so, mi so do so do mi, root major third or fifth, major third or fifth root, fifth root major third, like you understand that, and then do mi so, mi so do, you can sing, you know. So you see, fingering, picking, chord knowledge, triads, for example. Then maybe arpeggio, do mi so do, you know, like that, you know, um, arpeggios. Now, Everything you can learn quickly now if you Google, YouTube, anywhere, but then you get so much PDF and fingering diagram and you miss theory. Theory means understand what they are exactly, you know, intervals and a little bit more detail. You know, it's just explanation about around the sound. So that's the theory. So, in other words, theory knowledge won't do anything. You have to use music, use theory to understand. Then when you understand, you have to use your ear. So that's what we call ear training. So, somebody has good sense of a pitch. Once again, don't worry about the perfect pitch. Because perfect pitch, no necessary. I don't have a perfect pitch. John Mayer doesn't have a perfect pitch. Many people don't have a perfect pitch. But we have relatively perfect pitch. So if you hear like that, do, mi, so, do, I can hear fa, fourth, like that. Like that. Sharp 11. Flat 5. This doesn't do anything. Do you understand that? <laughs> okay, make sure. Because I don't want to see people practicing like this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you have to make everything fun so that the no stress, you know? Stress is not good for your body. Stress is just extra thing that you don't want to have it. Yes. So, you got the idea. Theory, ear training. You know, ear training, you know, helps. Whatever the you key you hear, then you can hear that you know, um, major seventh arpeggio or dominant seventh. So sometimes, you know, you have to really practice idea. Anything like that. For a seven. Do, me, so, te. Minor seven. Do, me, so, ti, minor, major, seven. Just like, that's like, you know, you have to know color. You see? I need a coffee. And this is what we call blue. But I don't know what kind of blue, because more detail about the blue. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but this one could be major, third. You know, color. 
They're so good. I need another cup though. Okay, so technique, theory, and your training. Now that's sort of a foundation. You see, foundation. Then use the foundation to help performance skill. Performance skills include ear training, theory, understand about the things, and technique, support the fingering, picking, understand. Fretboard knowledge is really not a skill. It, to me, like a triads. Triads really helps. And arpeggio, seventh chord, tension, all that, you know adding to it. But everything I want to think very simple, okay? Sim simple, simple way I believe you can create really great. This is, you know, um, apply to restaurant. If you have a, you know, diner type of restaurant, you open up a menu like this. Oh my God, so many choose. And the very end says, oh, fish and chip. But then if you order like this and fish and chip, just so really, uh, you know, frozen. But if you have a menu, one page menu, I love one page menu. Don't open it. Ah, oh, appetizer. Ah, oh, uh, oh, wow. You see, one page menu is always topped really good. Then gradually different choices. Okay. But not so many choices, not so many things to read because the restaurant decide we are going to do this menu so good but also economically that way you don't have to stock, stock up many things that's why I don't play so many different styles because I can do it if I want to do it but then I do you know everything pretty good and that's all I get you know so that's why I, I conf, um, concentrate certain style and I have a lot of gears. I have a lot of distortion, fuzz, but I use clean tone because everybody use distortion. So I just do something a little different, you know, naturally something looking for that. Yeah. Do you get the idea? Less is good. Small menu is good. If you eat a steak, steak restaurant, simple, you know, not so many things on it. Same with music. Okay, now it's time to, you know, give you example. So I have to turn amp. So this is amp Steel String Singer by Gazi. He's uh, Raphael Gazi, one of my student. And um, we used to do a Skype lesson. I don't do a lot of Skype lesson lately, but you know, I, I used to do a lot of Skype lesson with him. He always talk about amplifier a long time, you know, which is great. I listen to it, but the more I listen to and I ask any question, he can really answer the detail. Then I know some already answer and I ask, not test him, but ask, he understand everything. Then he had this amp and the back in his room and then, wow. Then he say, I can try two, three weeks to try out, you know, that summer. And I try, ended up, I bought this one. Amazing, using all new auto stock, everything expensive tube and tubes, you know, vintage tubes, and ch choose, you know, exactly. And so, when I play this amp, uh, first thing is like, every note I play, why so balanced well? You know, that's the dumbo, you know? Yeah. So like... this guitar I haven't played this guitar about 20 years so this is like a 20 years old uh, um, <laughs> strings see like if you play like that we don't call beginner or intermediate Probably advanced, I think. I hope. So, okay. So now, let me do the example. But this is just idea. So not, not really perfect example. So please don't, you know, um, ask me too much. <laughs> you know. So first one, if you compare 1, 4, 5 blues, what's the beginner? Beginner is like this.
So play one four one one four four one one five four one five. Only play root. That's the beginner. But good level of beginner, this person, because this person plays twelve of blues. Good. You can repeat. But the problem intermediate player who knows a lot of solos chords sometimes cannot carry on this chord of progression. That means that level is low. That's why Berkeley like a four or five different number system. And don't worry about those number systems. But I made up this, you know, right now I am doing blues knowledge, chord of progression. So next level is you learn bass line. <laughs> Like that. So last one, style-wise, we don't really go. That's not correct because I never heard that on the old records. Usually, you go five, four, one, stay one, or. Something like that. Just you know, sometimes you see pattern is not right. You have to really understand origin of music in the right sound from old records. You don't want to learn this from, you know, guitar teacher. You know what I mean? You have to learn from records. You know? Yeah. So the third one, uh, advanced level, is more like this. <laughs> so advanced was more like you know you can back up a BB King, you know, comfortably, really good, you know, baseline. Include, um, include, um, chromaticism. So next one, say twinkle, twinkle, little star. Beginner, it sounds like this. And the intermediate player sounds like this. Like that, okay. Then other vans player sounds like this.
Then, if you play jazz blues, beginner, beginner jazz like this. So beginner jazz really learn root third or seven, learn jazz jazz blues. And intermediate you know levels like this, learn tension. And then advanced level maybe like this. What do you think so far? Okay. So yes, you see like you know any anything you pick, something very simple, one note, two notes, or three notes, baby. And then next one, a little bit more, you know, sophisticated than that. So that's like you have to think, you know, six months or one year difference, you know, between, you know, and then that tiny tiny effort every day, ten minutes a day, and builds up. You see, so 10 minutes a day, seven days a week, 30 days a month, you know, like that. Much better than you play eight hours in a weekend. That's really true, you know. And then end with this one, happy chords. That, that's like a, I'm writing one of my uh, songs, right? So if beginner plays happy chord, So basically, beginner level is really, you know, using barrel bar chords, major or minor. So the E is 1, B is 5, C sharp minor, 6, and then 4 is A. So that's like you're already using uh, ear training to hear the, you know, distance between the notes and uh, color of, you know, chord progression, you know, sort of the theory. So next step is um beginner to intermediate now intermediate now you know major seventh dominant seventh without the tension so this one little advance could I, 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 I should say otherwise i just add this a uh, little bit of tricky chords so this chord you know from sixth string root 11 and fifth string skip 9 11 12. so this is third root fifth root so that technically this chord is really B B but you know third of bass you know so okay sort of slightly advanced but it's intermediate because I was reading wrong one. <laughs> so that's, I'm beginner. So that's intermediate because you, you know, this person don't know ninth or thirteenth of those tensions, you know. Also theory, you know, um, substitution. 
So, so the. Okay, so then. So this one, why is advanced? Because first, you don't look at your finger. So happy chords has to play without looking at it. So that means you have to do it. More practice, you know. And you have to make a good mistake. More mistake you do, you get good sense. Oh, yeah, like that. So, yeah, look at it. E, B over C sharp. C sharp minus seven. But then here, like a Japanese pop, you know, um, City pop. So this is what we call two five, two five, two, four chord. So now four chord with A, key of E, confusing, right? That's why advanced. So two. So basically, this is two five acting like four chords as a, like one, almost a new key. Then, sorry, here E but over G sharp. Like that. Now this is B B plus seven thirteen. This is called sub five, and I have a, a lesson on the sub five, and I can explain here because if I explain, that takes 10, 15 minutes to explain. So, shōryaku. Then so you go. Again, this is G7 is a sub five, half step down. Gospel. This guitar sounds good. Yeah. Thank you so much, Shida san. Shida, Shida Ryo. Ryo Shida. He made this guitar for me. This is really easy to play. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Tomochi the Music. I really, really appreciate your support, especially people who spend their own valuable time writing comment on regarding my video. That's amazing. You know, somebody care about me and my video. That's amazing. I have to really thank you. And one of my fans He's from Italy. He said when he does Saturday shopping, he listened this one from headphone while he shop because this talk is usually 20 minutes, half an hour. So it's good for his shopping. So what did you buy today? <laughs> did you buy fish? What? Cheese? What? <laughs> Write it down for me. It's, it's going to be funny. Okay, so three levels of your guitar playing. Can you tell? What is your level? So first, tell me, what is your level? What do you think? Also, can you tell me how you determine these three levels briefly? So another beginner, what's the beginner? What's the intermediate? What's the advanced? Also, style-wise, whatever you have an idea, I'm learning. I love learning from you, and this is amazing. So bottom line is this, you know, we can take this from don't decide too fast because if you decide you say oh i'm you know i'm 
I'm advanced or intermediate, then you don't know some important foundation, muting technique or triads. Then you learning you are learning songs. Difficult to learn because foundation. So learn review more foundation. I think that's the key. That's why guitar wisdom I'm building more foundation slash triads, foundation slash uh, blues because that way you won't miss anything you know I want you everybody you know nicely go up to the next level you know what I mean I'm not saying you have to be advanced it see I don't like judging people I don't like put the label to people I don't like that but this is kind of popular way to say things so we have to understand what what it is meaning you know so i hope you understand my message today i don't want to label you i don't want to label myself but sometimes you need to know beginner intermediate advanced what is this all right i think that's it today thank you so much for watching tomosu the music and see you next time have a great weekend great day thank you bye